What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 25,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it. But as you guys can tell, it is winter here in Michigan. I've already filmed a couple ice fishing videos, but we have the biggest snowstorm of the year right now. We're supposed to get like four to eight inches, something like that. Something crazy. The roads suck and the snow has been coming down like crazy all day. We're going to get a lot of snow. No, that's for sure so i'm really excited to get out on the ice here soon and today i got a big surprise i'm really excited i've never bought my own ice shanty and you've probably seen from the title and the thumbnail but i just got a brand new ice shanty it's an eskimo fat fish 949i and this is probably the nicest shanty that i've ever had i'm really really excited about it gonna be filming so many videos in this thing so many big fish are gonna be caught out of this shanty so i'm really really excited about this opportunity to be able to film videos out of this eskimo ice house really really cool we've actually never had one that was insulated either so we've always been running a million different heaters in our shack so i'm really really excited to get this one up and start filming some cool videos in it for you guys i'm probably going to be doing a lot of spearing in this thing because i've been getting into pike spearing a lot lately shanty like right here it says it holds three to four people it's got all all different kinds of features on it so pretty pumped about it but in today's video i'm just gonna open it up unbox it and everything and show you guys what it looks like and how it works and everything i'm really pumped about it drop a comment below what ice shanties or ice shacks that you guys use and why you guys use them so i've never had an eskimo I forget the other one we had. I think it was a Chappelle 6300 or 6500. That one was a double one, so it was freaking huge. And it would always get caught up in the wind and everything. It was just so big. It was really nice because you could cut a big sight hole in there, but it was almost too big. So um, I got this smaller one. And like I said, going to unbox it real quick before it gets dark here and before I get snowed in. So... Let's open this thing up and see what it looks like. I actually just got it in the mail a couple days ago. I was down in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. If you guys didn't see, I just proposed to my girlfriend. I'll leave a picture over here in the corner for you guys to see that if you have been watching um, my channel and seen Gabby in some of the videos. But yeah, it was really cool. I actually took her down to Gatlinburg, Tennessee and I had a camera guy and everything, Ben. Um, my really good buddy Ben and he captured it all so it was incredible in the Smoky Mountains but I'm gonna open this thing up see if I can get this thing open <laughs> all right and these shannies obviously don't come with seeds in them so what I usually do is I bring a bucket out there if I, or a little bucket or something or you can bring a nice lawn chair or something but i usually bring a bucket with me or whoever else is coming i'll bring some extra buckets and we'll just sit on buckets and use it like that but let's pull this thing out oh And this case right here is amazing. I'm actually gonna flip it up upright. But if you guys can see that, it says Eskimo right here on the bag. And this bag is incredible, guys. I, I really like having these bags. I watched a couple different videos on these actually. And you can, you can undo this right here, the strap. And you can actually wear this thing like a backpack if you guys can see that right there I'll move that table for you guys but check that out that's pretty cool I I didn't even know that you could carry them like this and they're they're super lightweight too so these are that's a pretty cool feature um if you don't want to have a huge like bat or if you don't want to pull a big sled or anything, you can just grab your auger, your spear, and just walk out just like this. So, 
super super nice guys i really like that feature right there but gonna set it down and open this thing up Got a couple straps on there to get it pretty tight. Just like that. And then I think at the end you can just undo this right here, actually. Just like that and pull the whole shanty out. So it's got three separate straps like that to hold everything down, but now you can pull it out. All right, there's the manual, probably shows you everything for the shanty and these ones are actually i forget what they're they're called like pull out or pop-up tents i think that's what they're called but literally you just pull on the center pieces and it's easy as that setting up so i also forgot to mention guys let's set this down right here real quick but it comes with these things Right here, check that out right there. And this is for to hold your shanty down or your ice shack. Once you get it all popped up and everything, you can screw these into the ice. It comes with six of them. And it also comes with a couple different ratchet straps to hold your shanty down. So I really like that about that. A couple of the other shannies that we have in the past don't come with that. So I really like how it comes with this whole pack of, um, ice anchors i guess you could call them I, i'm not a hundred percent sure on the name but that works for me but let's set this thing up guys what do you think and with these shannies they're really easy to set up you don't need a bunch of people to set them up you can just go out by yourself actually and set them all up so i really like that too So guys, I got most of the sides up, but I was just gonna show you this last side and how you pop them out. See this little tiny, um, almost like um, strap right here. You just grab it and pull it out just like this. Just like that, and it pops out. So this thing is freaking huge. Holy crap. I didn't realize how big it was when I got it. But. Let's check it out. Let's open this thing up. Well, this thing is badass, guys. <laughs> Lots of big fish are gonna be caught out of this thing. Make sure to stay tuned for all those videos. But um, I guess I'll go over all the windows and everything. I can tell just by being inside of this thing that I'm already way warmer than I was. This thing is super, super insulated, guys. And these doors are really cool. It's got two doors, one on this side and one on the other side. And I think it has six windows. Let me double check. Yep, it has 
six windows in here and it's also got a bunch of different little um cubbies in the side of the shanty i think there's a cubby right here where you can store like any jackets or anything you guys want in there so this thing is freaking sweet guys uh, oh my new home for ice fishing guys what do you guys think drop a comment below and make sure to also hit that thumbs up for me it helps me and it allows me to make more videos like this when you guys support the channel and everything but that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video i just wanted to quickly go over my new ice shanty the eskimo fat fish 949i um, i'm pretty impressed with it um, just the first look i um, super, super excited about it. Like I said, I probably said that a hundred times, but I've been waiting to get home to check this thing out and ready to get this thing out on the ice and spear some big pike through it. But make sure to stay tuned for all those videos. This thing is going to be a wrecking machine getting all kinds of big fish, guys. So make sure to stay tuned. But um, like I said, I just wanted to quickly go over the whole shack and everything. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We're gonna get this thing all um, packaged up and hopefully head out on the ice tomorrow. So stay tuned for those videos, but we'll see you guys in the next one.